Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Sergei was living with his wife Marina, whom he loved very much. And although he was one of the most famous surgeons in the city in which he resided, he was unable to save her. The man was shocked a lot when his wife died, and he blamed himself a lot because he couldn't save her. He succeeded in saving the lives of many patients, even though their survival rate was little. However, when it came to his wife, whom he loved so much, he failed in the operation, which is why he was very disappointed. Marina, with whom Sergei lived the most beautiful days of his life, left the world and left him a precious gift presented by the daughter, Nastya. This is what made the man overcome his shock in a short time and began to take care of his beautiful daughter as he tried in various ways to provide her with everything she needed, not all of which she felt the absence of her mother. Nastya grew up and became a beautiful young woman, and one day she came to her father and told him that she loved a young man who'd studied with her at the university, and she wanted to marry him. When Sergei noticed that his daughter was happy and determined to marry that young man, he immediately agreed. He's ready to do anything to see his wife happy, and he told her that he was eager to get to know the young man and that he would reserve a luxurious place for them to hold the wedding ceremony. The young woman told her father that Vadim is handsome, educated, and fun, and they love each other very much, and she promised him that she would not leave anywhere after marrying him because they decided to live in that city. All this talk made Sergei reassured, and he realized that his daughter is smart, so he used to stand by her and agree to everything she asked for. He's from a rich family, so his parents decided to throw a luxurious party in an upscale party hall in the city. Also, Sergei wanted to see his daughter in the best way on her wedding day, so he bought her a beautiful dress and other gifts that she would like very much. Although Nastya and her father lead a good life with the father's salary, which was not low, the extremely wealthy Vadim family was waiting for the daughter and her father as they were from the poor class. That's why Vadim's parents at first hesitated to accept Nastya and demanded that he find a wife from their high class, but the young man insisted on marrying Nastya. The young man's parents remained trying to make their son change the decision to marry Nastya and promised him that they would find him an ideal wife who would be rich and beautiful. In addition, since Vadim did not like Nastya because he liked only her beauty and wonderful strength, he began to think about the words of his parents and became convinced of the idea of canceling that marriage. He's rich and can find a beautiful young woman like her or more beautiful than her, so he eventually agreed to annul the marriage. Vadim received a luxurious car as a gift from his parents because he followed their advice and was very happy with it, while well, Nastya was very shocked when her fiancé told her that he had canceled the marriage. She entered her room and kept cuddling the wedding dress her father had bought her, crying all the time. Sergei was in pain a lot when he saw his only daughter, well, she was sad and he wanted to take revenge on the members of the family that caused her pain, but he did not have a trick, so he realizes that in an elegant family, it has great influence, so he'll not be able to confront them. When Nastya noticed that her father always returned from work quickly to reassure her while she was sad about her condition, she decided to try to appear before him that she had overcome the shock and everything had gone well with her. She realizes over time that Vadim does not want to marry her because he probably does not love her. Otherwise, he would fight for her. When Nastya began to get rid of her shock, she discovered that she was pregnant with Vadim, and that was what was disappointing her. She told her father that she wanted an abortion. She wanted to forget everything related to Vadim and start her life over. Sergei tried to calm his daughter down and told her that she would give birth to the little one because having children is a wonderful thing, and he promised her that he would help her raise him. However, the young woman did not want to see the little boy and decided to abort. She did not tell her father because she knew that he would prevent her from doing so, so she preferred to do it secretly. The young woman had an abortion, and when she left the clinic, she was frustrated, as she lost her husband and son and became a burden, so she began to think about suicide. Nastya did not want to return to her father's house and immediately went to the house of her friend, Svetlana. When her friend found her in this miserable condition, she was astonished and immediately put her on the bed and began to ask her about what happened with her. Nastya told her friend that her marriage to Vadim was cancelled, and that's why she got rid of the pregnancy, and she does not want to see her father again, and she wants to commit suicide. Svetlana did not believe what happened. Her energetic, cheerful friend 
turned a short time into a young woman who hated life and wanted suicide. Svetlana asked Nastya to stay calm, brought her a glass of water, and told her that she would go to the store to buy some things and return to bring lunch together. At the moment the young woman went to the store, Nastya took out a packet of hallucinogenic tablets and took all the pills in it at once, because she wanted to die immediately. And after a few moments, she began to shiver and fell to the ground unconscious. Meanwhile, her friend entered, and when she saw her in this situation, she screamed and threw the things she'd bought on the ground and approached Nastya and touched her. Then she found her body cold and not moving, which made her call the ambulance immediately. The ambulance came and took Nastya to the hospital. Then Svetlana caught up with her in her car and called Sergei and told him that his daughter had tried to commit suicide and was taken to the hospital where he works, and she's in serious condition. The father felt a great panic and came quickly from the operations department to the recovery room where his daughter is to reassure her, and when he saw her closed eyes and the doctors trying to save her life, he grabbed his head in his hands and started shedding tears and blaming his daughter for wanting to die and leave him alone. Sergei tried to touch his daughter, but the doctors prevented him and asked him to wait because her condition is very serious. Then the man immediately went to Vadim's family's house and began to blame them and insult them for what they did with his daughter because they turned her life into hell and made her try to commit suicide. Sergei wanted revenge on them. Well, Maria Vasilyevna was indifferent to what he said and told him that her family did not bear what happened with her daughter and asked him to leave or she'd call the police immediately. When Sergei left, Vadim and his mother kept looking at each other with fear because Sergei's words affected them a lot and they realized that they've wronged the young woman, especially when they discovered that she'd conceived and got rid of the pregnancy. Nastya escaped death and returned to her normal life, while her father became very close to her and decided not to move away from her, and he encouraged her to start her life again and promised her that he would be by her side. He gave her the apartment in which they lived, opened a bank account, and saved money for support. She to start a new project in her life, and she would forget the painful past that she lived. For her part, the young woman felt guilty because she was considering suicide and leaving her father alone, although she realizes that he will suffer a lot from her separation. Nastya became more serious in her life and decided to work hard to become successful. Nastya works in the same company as her friend Svetlana, and the two young women enjoyed their time very much, as they went to the nightclub together to dance there, wandered around the villages near the city and shopping. The young woman was immediately coming home from work to get a hot meal for her father, who came home from work late at night, where she would sit with him around the dining table and ask him how his day was, and tell him how she spent her day. She was very happy that her father had regained his smile and was proud of what she was doing. With the passage of time, Nastya got acquainted with a young man named Maxim, and their relationship began to develop. The young man used to take care of her and try to always stay close to her, because he knew her story with Vadim. So the young woman felt attracted to him and began to feel that he was sincere in his love, and he really wanted to compensate her for the pain, who caught up with her in the past years. One day, while Sergei and his daughter were eating, he received a call from the hospital, asking him to come quickly to the hospital to perform an urgent surgery on a young man who had a serious accident in his luxury car. The man kissed his daughter on her forehead and told her that he had to leave, and he went immediately to the hospital, where he changed his clothes and immediately entered the operating room. And there he was surprised when the young man, Vadim, saw his former daughter's fiancé on the operating bed, bleeding and his body was unable to move. When his mother discovered that Sergei was the one who would do the operation for her son, she tried to protest and asked the hospital staff to ban and find another surgery that she would pay the amount they wanted. And she told them that the doctor carries a mule for all her family members and will not hesitate to let her son die. The doctors asked the woman to calm down and told her that Sergei was the best surgeon in the city, and he was the only one capable of saving her son, and they assured her that he would save his life. When the nurse noticed that her words and the doctors did not convince the woman, she asked Sergei to come out and talk to them. Sergei came out quietly and asked Maria in a bold and firm voice to stop screaming because her money could not buy everything, and asked her to calm down because he would do everything he could to save her son. Although he was not worthy, he then entered the operating room and left her unable to speak. Sergei performed the operation for the young man and saved his life from death at the last moment. And when he left the operating room, he was surprised by his daughter Nastya approaching him and asked about Vadim's condition. It was then that the father told her that he was fine and he left immediately, dissatisfied because he thought that his daughter still liked that young man. Nastya entered Vadim's room 
sat near him and kept taking care of him, which astonished the young man and his mother, who believed that the young woman and her father would take revenge on her son. The young woman returned to visit Vadim the next day and told him that she was happy that he'd passed the danger stage. Then the young man grabbed her by her hand and told her that he missed her and wanted to return to her and marry her. But the young woman smiled at him and said goodbye and wished him a beautiful life. Nastya immediately went to the restaurant, which she agreed with Maxim to meet, and there she hugged him and told him that she missed him. Then the young man sat on his knees in front of her, took a ring out of his pocket, and told her that he would be the happiest man in the world if she accepted to marry him. Nastya accepted the marriage to Maxim and immediately took him to introduce her to her father. Sergei admired the young man at first sight and immediately realized that he was the right fit for her daughter, as he is an ambitious engineer and a professional athlete. So he blessed him and his daughter for their marriage and advised them to take care of each other and enjoy their lives. Sergei refused to meet Vadim's parents, who asked to meet him and thank him for what he had done for their son, because he did not like that arrogant family that almost deprived him of his daughter, and he only took care of his daughter and helped her to count for her marriage ceremony. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.